Hello students, I welcome you all to Arranger Academy. So today we are going to start with the 15th chapter of class 6 CBSE Science and that's air around us. So students, you cannot see air but you can definitely feel it. Surely you must have felt its presence in many ways. You may have noticed that during storms, the wind blows at a very high speed. It may even uproot trees and blow off the rooftops. The moving air make it possible for you to fly your kite. So we can say that air is present almost everywhere. So in this chapter, you will learn about air and its composition and much more. In this particular video, we will be discussing the NCERT questions and solutions for this lesson. So let's proceed. So here comes question 1. What is the composition of air? So we know that air is a mixture. So air may bohat sare different uh, components. Hai. So let's see that what is the composition of air. So air is a mixture of many gases. It consists of water vapor, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and dust and smoke. So here almost the major constituent hai, uh, in air is nitrogen. Around 78% of the air is nitrogen. Then uh, 21%, around 21% we have oxygen. Hai. And in the rest 1% you may say that we have carbon dioxide, water vapor, dust and smoke and some other gases. So this is the composition of air. Before proceeding with question 2, I would request all the students who are watching us to please visit our website arrangeacademy.com. Here you can download all the materials from your exams and you can download the NCERT solutions for your, all your classes and for all the subjects. Coming back to question 2, which gas in the atmosphere is essential for respiration? So, which atmospheric gas ke through respiration possible hai that, we, that is we can breathe in. Uh, so let's see what's the answer to this. Respiration is the process of taking in oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. So respiration is a particular process hai in which we breathe in and we breathe out. So which atmospheric gas ko breathe in? Karte hai, we uh, take in oxygen and we exhale out the carbon dioxide. So we can say that respiration is possible because of the oxygen that is present in atmosphere. So yes, oxygen is essential for respiration. Let's see question 3. How will you prove that air supports burning? So we have to present a particular experiment present karna hai, uh, with which we can prove that uh, air is required for burning. So let's see that experiment. So we can prove that air supports burning by the following experiment. So there are a number of steps. So we will follow them. The first one is take a candle and place it in a large container filled with water. So we firstly a large container uh, consider karna hai. We need to fill it with water and at the center we have to place a candle. Then we need to light the candle. We candle to light karna hai with a matchstick. Then after a while, cover the candle with an inverted glass tumbler. So we have to use a glass tumbler use karna hai and we need to keep it inverted such that it covers the candle. Alright, so we have to do this just after we have light the candle and after then slowly the candle blows out and the water level inside the tumbler rises. Now this fourth one, now this is showing the observation that we make. So what we observe, we observe that the candle light blows out, all right, and the water level inside the tumbler rises. So the tumbler, a glass tumbler, we will see that uh, in that the water level hai, wo rise uh, ho raha hai and the candle will blow out. So what we can infer from this experiment? So from the above experiment, we observe that the oxygen left inside the tumbler is used up in lightening the candle a little longer and is replaced by water. So 
after we have kept the com uh, tumbler over the candle so there will be some small amount of oxygen which will still be present and for that reason hum dekhenge that for some time jo candle hai it will still uh, be lighting up and after that it will blow out so uh, now we can say that since the oxygen is used up so there is a free space that is created inside the tumbler and now that will be replaced by water now in absence of oxygen we can say that the candle blows out so this is showing that as soon as the oxygen inside the glass tumbler gets over candle blows out this is showing that oxygen is required or we can say that air is required to support burning question 4 says how will you show that air is dissolved in water so we know that uh, in water there is some amount of air which is dissolved so how can we show this so let's see uh, here you can see a container in which we have filled the water and we have kept the water to boil and while doing this we all must have observed that small air bubbles uh, can be seen at the bottom uh, which after some time when there is a sufficient heat Uh, so these bubbles will come up and will and the air will leave off the given water so we see bubbles in water when we boil it these bubbles are formed due to presence of air in the water so hum jab water ko boil karte hain we see bubbles right so ye jo bubbles hain ye basically form hote hain kyun because there is air that is present inside so ye air bubbles hai so with this observation we can say that air is dissolved in water definitely if air bubbles are coming uh, within the water we can say that air is dissolved in water next comes question 5 why does a lump of cotton wool shrink in water so we all must have seen that jo cotton wool hai it's a fabric so if we try to rinse it in water so we can see that it shrinks so why does this happen let's see so cotton wool is loosely packed and has air trapped inside its lumps so jo cotton wool hai when it is uh, dry so in that case it is in form of lumps so these lumps have air trapped inside and we know that since air is trapped so we can say that they are loosely packed and they are very light in light in weight so next when we pour water on it the air is replaced by water so as in when when we pour the water or when we try to rinse it in water so jo air trapped the so those air will leave the uh, fabric and it will be replaced by the water and due to this due to this the wool stick together better ab jo wool ke jo fibers hai they will stick better and they will come close and that is the reason why it will appear to us that the cotton wool has shrink and this is also the reason why they become heavy as they are replaced by the water so we observe that cotton wool shrinks in water so here comes question 6 the layer of air around the earth is known as what so jo earth ke around layers hai of air so what we call them let's see so we call them as atmosphere so you students you know that our earth is surrounded by a thin layer of air these layer extends up to many kilometers above the surface of the earth even if you know ye jo layers of air hai hum inhe blanket भी कहते हैं ब्लैंकेट ऑफ एयर दैट इज सराउंडिंग द अर्थ इट प्रोटेक्ट्स द अर्थ फ्रॉम हार्मफुल रेडिएशंस एंड मेक्स लाइफ पॉसिबल ऑन अ प्लैनेट सो वी कॉल दिस लेयर्स ऑफ एयर एज एटमोस्फियर हियर कम्स क्वेश्चन सेवन द कंपोनेंट ऑफ एयर यूज्ड बाय ग्रीन प्लांट्स टू मेक द फूड इज सो कौन से एयर के कॉम्पोनेंट को विच atmospheric gas is used by green plants to make their food so let's see the answer we know that the process through which plant makes their food is called photosynthesis now in this particular process the plant leaves which is the source or we can say the site where the process occur so it 
takes the water from the stem and the light from the sun and it uses carbon dioxide which is present in the atmosphere so we can say it uses a carbon dioxide and finally it produces oxygen and uh, the glucose so we can say that carbon dioxide is the atmospheric gas which plant leaves require for photosynthesis or for the making of their food so the component of air used by green plants to make their food is called carbon dioxide here comes question 8 list five activities that are possible due to the presence of air so hame koi aise five activities ke name and list karne hai that are possible because of the presence of air so it is more of a self based activity i would like to hear from you what are your answers so air is essential for our lives right five activities that are possible due to presence of air are so i would request you to please pause the video and try to do this by yourself once all right i hope you all must have done this let's see the answer burning now burning is a very important uh, activity that is possible only because of air now because we have just seen an experiment uh, of a candle vacuum experiment in which we saw that candle uh, require oxygen or the air for the burning then comes respiration so respiration is the process of inhaling and exhaling we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide so to breathe in and uh, to breathe in oxygen we know we need the atmospheric gas because it's a component of the air after all the third one is called the photosynthesis we just see it uh, we just saw it in the previous slide that photosynthesis is a process through which the plant makes their food and in this they require carbon dioxide which is again a component of air flying kite now uh, in the kite festival we know that uh, we fly kite on our terraces so we know that it all depends upon air so agar air blow nahi kar raha hoga we won't be able to fly a kite so therefore we can say that the flying kite activity here this is also possible due to the presence of air finally the fifth uh, which seems important quite important is cloud formation so you know that jo air hai uh, in that water vapor is also a component so we had seen it in the previous chapter water uh, if you have not seen so please go there and check that out there we have discussed much about water cycle in which we saw that there is a process named evaporation in which the water converts into water vapor now this water vapor forms a part of air they reaches to the top uh, at a certain height they condenses to form clouds so we can say that cloud formation is also possible because of air uh, you may have different answers so you can cross check uh, let's move to the next question here comes question 9 how do plants and animals help each other in the exchange of gases in the atmosphere so the plants and animals hai, they are the components of our environment so how they are interdependent wo kaise ek dusre ki madad karte hai in the exchange of gases in the atmosphere let's see this so plants and animals are interdependent on each other for the exchange of gases so plants or animals they are interdependent wo ek dusre par dependent hai for exchanging gases animals jo animals hai also include humans so we know that animals inhale oxygen produced by plants and exhale carbon dioxide so uh, we animals uh, and the humans we inhale oxygen right so hum oxygen inhale karte hain which is produced by plants right and then we exhale out carbon dioxide ab ye jo carbon dioxide hai jo humne exhale out kiya this carbon dioxide is used by the plants further to perform photosynthesis we saw that jo plants hai wo carbon dioxide use karte hain uh, to prepare their food right and they release oxygen again now after the completion of photosynthesis the products also contain oxygen so now again the oxygen is produced which will be taken up by the animals 
and this is how the cycle will continue in which the plants and animals will keep on exchanging the gases. So thank you students for being with us throughout this video. You can subscribe to Arranger Academy on YouTube for more such videos. आप हमारे साइट को भी विजिट कर सकते हैं arrangeacademy.com वहां से आपको और भी डिटेल्स मिलेंगे इनफैक्ट आप वहां से एन सी सॉल्यूशंस भी डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं फॉर ऑल योर क्लासेस फॉर ऑल योर सब्जेक्ट्स सो दैट यू कैन एस इन योर एग्जाम्स कीप लर्निंग कीप ड्रॉइंग थैंक यू